The idea was to create a building that would stand for itself but be part of the team as it were. So the master plan was established and actually it's a big rectangle so um, it's a sort of ratio three to one. If you drew a big rectangle it would end up looking enormous. So the vision was to ease the building, to give it a certain charm, a voluptuousness, um, and hence its curvilinear form. So those movements of the hand almost, you know, around the possibilities of the site is where the whole thing began. It's the sort of sense then of the way that the vertical elements work with uh, the curves. So they uh, work elegantly around the building to a rhythm, a musical rhythm really, and come to these cornices, almost like Hogarth's line of beauty, and then the vertical elements in ceramic. There's a very interesting tradition here in Birmingham that I've always admired of the industrial past, but actually the arts and crafts, and uh, that emerged alongside industrialization. But ceramics is part of a tradition, an inventive, innovative ceramics and glazes. So that was one thing in my mind. The other is uh, the great civic buildings, particularly the City Hall, with its very classical, rigorous set of uh, columns. And so I was interested in, in formulating a glaze in the ceramic that would kind of chime with the arts and crafts tradition here, and also you know, in tonality as a palette with uh, the key civic buildings. It's like it's a building that's a nose ahead, you know, because it, it comes forward. So as you walk up from the station, you see it as the backdrop to the great art gallery and City Hall and so on, you know. So um, it's, it's full frontal in a way, and then it gives itself away. And it's got some very long elevations along with those big monumental vistas, um, that there are the large curves, the large radii, but this long easing next to uh, the second building to come forward is going to mean that it, it's like a very subtle thing. You might even not perceive it, but you, you'll find a rhythm in every elevation so that it's a building that has to stand alone for some time, particularly on its north elevation where it doesn't, it's not going to have neighbours, so it's got to be handsome in every direction. And it's got to bear that, uh, that sort of responsibility of being, as I say, a nose ahead in both placement and time. But it should be a wonderful place to come into and, and leave from for, for you know, the 2,000 people who are going to work in it. So it's got to be, it's got to be a place you really um, you know, step into with a sense of joy. And I think that we've worked very hard so that the grounding of the building is full of delight. Restaurants, you know, retailers and uh, the life of the city, the street, is all there. But it's also going to play its part um, in the well-being of the occupants who, who use it. And it, has, uh, it also has terraces at the, uh, you know, at the upper level. So uh, you get these views as well, privileged views over a great part of uh, 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 Birmingham's history.